Good morning, folks. This is the 48 Chevy guy with my 1948 uh, Fleetmaster Country Club Coupe. And today we're going to do the uh, differential uh, gear change, uh, gear oil change. So this is what I'm, uh, what I brought. Uh, I had to bring a pipe wrench because uh, the bolt, the filler bolt is an uh, inch and a quarter. And I have an inch and a half, but not an inch and a quarter. So I'm using a pipe wrench. Uh, 916 socket, uh, extension socket. I have a wire brush, screwdriver, obviously, uh, goggles, lamp, and my gear oil. I need the quart and three quarter, and also brake clean, and the pump to pump into the uh, differential once it's uh, clean. And I also have a new gasket, and this is the part number if somebody's interested. And that came from uh, Chevy of, of the 40s. So the first step, what I'm going to do, the first step is to, I want to clean the housing. I'm going to use brake clean and liberally apply it to the, to the housing before I remove any screws. So it'd be nice and clean and be easier to work with. Okay, so the first step would be to clean up the housing before I start. I'm going to spray this. And everything falls into my pan. Then I can use little water brush to just remove most of the grime. Now before I started I uh, made sure that my uh, made sure that my uh, filler bolt was loosened. So uh, the worst thing you want to do is start it draining everything and then find out you can't put any fluid back. So now the housing is clean, or at least better. So now I can start. Well, the first thing I want to do is take this out. And so I'm going to switch because I don't want to mix the, this with oil. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, there is plenty of oil in there. OK, that's good. Uh, interesting to know if my the level was low or not, it's good, good sign. So let's take these, these guys off. And I'm going to spare you the tedious process of uh, undoing all those bolts. Once I get this one out, I'll resume the camera afterwards. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the bolts off, except the top. I'm going to keep the top on. I'm going to loosen it up about halfway with a screwdriver if I need to. I'm going to pry the bottom, drain the fluid so I don't have a mess everywhere. And then when that's done, then I'll remove the top screw. I'll clean the housing and uh, go on from there. Okay, so now I get all the bolts removed. The last one is the top. I'll get this one out. Okay, let's see if I can get this thing out. Pry gently. I had a uh, I had a problem. I could not separate the cover plate from the uh, from the housing. I try I try to put screwdriver in there. I don't have any uh, way to uh, put some heat to it. So I decided to put the bolts back, let it drain for for another couple of hours. Put the bolts back, and now I'm going to torque it at uh, 25 pound foot. One. And I'm going to cross. Two, I'm going to go here, three, four, five, to this one, six, seven, oh, this one was pretty loose. To 
today is a miserable day. It's hot, very mucky. Okay. And I think I did this one already. Yep. Okay. Now we're good. So I'm going to pump in the, uh, the new gear oil until it overflows and I might not do the whole thing on camera because it's a pretty thick oil and it's going to take a long time so I'm going to stop and then when it starts dripping I'll resume. Alright I give up on the pump so I'm going to use my drill to try to get the uh, fluid out. We'll see. Yep, working. All right. That's good. I am full, so I'm going to take this out, put this in there, and tighten it. And then I finish it with the... Oh, man. That hand pump was worthless. Just wouldn't work. You get what you pay for, I guess. But let me get this out. Okay. All right. Ah, that's better. God, I was disgusted with that process. So I can't really twerk this thing, but I'm just going to make it about as tight as it was when I took it off. Make sure there is no leak and I'll check it later on. We'll make sure there the seal is tight but it looks like it's a uh, uh, pipe wrench or a pain in the neck. Uh, that's good. This real good. And we are done. Well, that was tedious. It took me over four hours to do this 20 minute project. But at least it's done. I now have clean uh, gear oil because I wasn't sure when was the last time they. Uh, differential gear, uh, oil was changed, so now I'm, that's done. So transmission's done, engine's done, gear oil, the next step would be the brake. So hopefully this wasn't too painful to watch. Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up, and uh, if you want to subscribe, I would appreciate it. So thank you for watching, and have a good day.